Hello everybody, my name is Stan and uh, in this video we're gonna go through how you can get your Unity project up on your WordPress site quickly, easily, without downloading any WordPress plugins or getting any packages for Unity or any anything from the ISO store or any scripting for that matter. Uh, and as you can see, my little Ghost Runner project here is working completely fine on WordPress and you can maximize it as well. And let's just see if we can restart. We can restart. So, I'm gonna assume that you're using the Unity 2020.1.0 F1. If you're using previous version, it might not work. And if you're using a later version, it might not work either. But the, as of this version, it at least works. So, when your project is done, you wanna test it out or you want to upload it into your WordPress, you go to File, then you click on Build Settings, and we need to make sure that it's for WebGL. So click on WebGL and click on Switch Platform. This is to make sure that it's compatible for our WordPress site. And now it's done. Now go click on Player Settings, and for your settings for WebGL, as you can see here, go to other settings and scroll down until you find use deterministic compilation. If you're having trouble finding this, you can just write the tutorial up here and it should be marked here. Click it off. And then you go to publishing settings. Find compression format and click on disabled. Uh, the default is on gzip. When you've done that, you can build and run. And if this doesn't work, then make sure that your scenes are obviously built in here before you press build and run. So let's find a folder for this. I think I have a test for WordPress. And put it there. It's very important that you press build and run because by pressing build and run, we're actually testing this project on a local host and obviously if it works then it works we are ready to put it up on WordPress and if it doesn't work then yeah we need to uh, fix something and this might take a little while so please be patient oh, or maybe not and as you can see I can take it back and you can press play and it works awesome so you can just close that so when you can see that it's built go to your folder and you can see that you get two folders a build folder and a template data folder and this index.html is the important one those three items you need to have so go to your a provider and go to your public HTML folder and I'm using one.com for this if you don't know what a public HTML folder is then it's basically the folder where you have your VP admin your VP content and VP includes the folders there so navigate over there and if you're planning to make multiple projects on UOT, uh, Unity up to your WordPress, then feel free to upload a Unity empty folder right away. I've already done that because I have multiple projects here. So, when you have done that, you can basically just, in my case at least, just drag and drop the whole thing over. And if you cannot do this with your provider. There's a chance that you need to uh, edit your HC, what's called, HC access uh, file, or you have to upload it via FTP. But contact your provider to find out how you can get around this. So, this for WordPress has uploaded. Uh, just to make sure that it works quickly, you can press on the index into your mail and then click this link 
to see if it would work on your host. And it looks like it does. And I... Oh, this is an old project, so never mind that. But it looks like it's working, as intended. So, it's probably not a good idea to just like put this link on your WordPress site. So, what you can do is I've make a new page. Let's call it um, just for WordPress. And down here, press on the plus and then search for HTML and then add in custom HTML. We're gonna put some HTML code in here. And don't worry if you don't know HTML, you can just literally copy paste what I'm writing. So I wanna do it via an iframe. And this is the link. And let's put a width on 400 and a height on 900. And let's just do this. And this is important. The next part here allow full screen. Allow full screen. If you don't have this code on, it actually doesn't allow it uh, in your iframe. So this should be about right. So let's publish it and let's check this page, how it will look like. And I am clearly missing something. Oh, you have to make sure that it's HTTPS as well. That might be it, else it won't be able to load. And voila, it's working. So uh, this is how you can upload your Unity project up to your WordPress without downloading any plugins or any other external help. If this video helped you, it would mean a lot and support me a lot if you would leave a like and a comment below. Uh, and hit that subscribe button and if it didn't work out or you're having trouble then feel free to leave a comment below also and i'll try to help you as much as i can else if there's any future subjects that you'd like me to cover regarding unity then please leave a comment below and i'll see if i can make a video about it else everybody thank you for watching and have a nice day. Stay safe.